The reason most people want a 308 AR is more power, more energy, hunting applications, long range applications. Well, we thought we'd test what's the difference in power and energy with barrel length. And we have a perfect way to test this. We have the Stag guns, very similar guns. We have the Stag 10 and the Stag 10S. These are new 308 guns that came out this year. And the main difference is this one has an adjustable stock and a 16 inch barrel and the 10 has an 18 inch barrel and a fixed stock. So let's shoot it through the chrono and let's see if there's much difference in velocity. Today we're gonna to be using 175 grain open tip match bullets, which the ammo box says 2,600 feet per second out of the barrel. So let's see what we get. It may be a little bit less with this 16 inch barrel. Twenty-four thirty-three, twenty-three ninety-one, and twenty-four forty-five. Let's look at the summary of this. So these were all just about, call it twenty-four hundred feet per second. The mean would be twenty-four to twenty-three. Okay. Now, let me unload this guy. All right. So sixteen-inch barrel. 24, 23 is the mean. Now let's see what we get with an 18 inch barrel gun. All right, this one's a little bit different, a little longer. 18 inch barrel on the Stag 10, 10, 308 gun, fixed stock. This is maybe a little bit more long range setup, but let's see what the difference in velocity is gonna be with an extra two inches of barrel. Twenty-five forty. Twenty-five thirty-three. And twenty-five nineteen. That's really consistent. So we're averaging right around twenty-five thirty, about a hundred feet per second difference. A hundred feet per second difference in two inches of barrel, which is about what I expected to get. That's not gonna make a big difference in hunting applications. It could make a small difference in long range applications when you really get out at distance, but that's the difference in a 308 barrel, 18 inches versus 16 inches, not a whole lot of difference.